Hello, and welcome back to Turok 2. Today, we're going to finish level 2, no matter how long it takes. It probably won't take very long, there's not much left. Uh, this is take 2, because, um, I took way too long to do the primogen key thing. And even though I could cut things out, I don't know, I didn't play very well in the beginning. So, I have a little more practice now, and I know that a million things are coming to kill me at the moment. Though, of course, I'm... Still gonna play badly. Is he turning invisible? Goodbye. Cool. Okay, so I found a setting called 3D Shadows and I turned it on. I don't know if it did anything. I don't notice anything different. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. There, there's shadows under these guys. I don't know if it was like that before, though. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't like that before. So that's cool. I don't know. We're good. So, of course, I go the wrong way the first time. Yeah, so you have to go up here first, and there's um, a monster activated door. Of course. Uh, there's death over there. That's also fantastic. I did not mean to do that. Uh, okay. So, the final level key is over there. Which means I did not forget anything. Because through that other gate, I don't know if you remember, but that is the last soul gate that we need. And then we're done. Uh, done at this level, everything except for... Except for the primogen key, which we will be getting. I don't know why I'm using this, but it's fun to use a different gun every once in a while. It's like Shredder Max 60 is all I've been using. Which is fine, but... Might as well use something different. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, we are going to go to World 4 after this instead of back to 1, like I said we were going to do before. Because World 1 um, has lives that I might need later on, but not right now. Oh, no! Um, I think I may have just glitched this, because I just want to take care of these guys so they don't come back. Um... I went in here after I destroyed this thing, so now the door is closed. Um, did I screw myself over? No, I just have to go over here. That's cool. Oh, yeah, crap. You saw what happened there. Uh, I got over a hundred tiles, and it just reset them without me getting a life. Yeah, that's why we're not going back to World 1, because I don't want to waste stuff like that. Okay. So, uh... So back over here we have, and yes, those are compy over there. We don't even need to go over there, but. Oh yeah, the other thing we need to do is grab the uh, Leap of Faith Talisman. And this weird ghost Indian guy is going to give it to us. Hooray. Speech time. The spirits accept your offering. I grant you the Leap of Faith Talisman. With this talisman, you may leave great distances simply by standing on the talisman pads. Okay, so there's a few of these pads on this level, but uh, you don't need them. One of them actually leads to an ultra health, but it's kind of a ways back, and I don't know. I don't feel like getting it. That thing should have hit me. Game gods do not like that guy right now, I guess. Okay, so I'm. I did that because notice, I think I'm going faster. I hope I did that right. If you like dive into the water. <clears throat> okay, so this is what took me forever last time, and I am definitely going to cut it if it takes too long. So basically, I have to jump over. Mm, I have to land on the ledge and then jump right away so I have enough speed to make it across there. I'm gonna try it one more time. Then I'm going to cut the video here so it's easy to edit. <laughs> yep, okay, so be right back one second. Okay, we're back. Maybe. I don't know if you're going to see this part. <laughs> because I'm probably just going to cut it to where we do- th Oh my Wow! I didn't even have to cut it unless I screw up here. So basically you have to jump, and I think you have to like be holding forward. Yeah, jump, hold forward, and turn a little bit. I don't know exactly what you have to do, but that's how you can get that key. 
like without having to go through the crap that you need the um, Breath of Life and Leap of Faith for. So that's cool. Um, I'm gonna do this and try this once. You can jump over there. Yes, perfect. Okay, good. So over here, this is where you would have fallen if you would have jumped from up here. We actually need to hit this in order to go to the end of the level. There are leapers here. Yep. I would love to avoid them. Like that would be the best thing ever. I think I just did. I think I just did. Yes. Okay. It's time to defend you the world. The totem, Turok. Whoa. Only really, that's the world. So this is uh, pretty much exactly the same as level 1, only with the River of Souls back there. I think it's because they don't expect you to have beat World 3 already. I keep saying World is a level, but really, who cares? I sure don't, obviously. My sincerest apologies, but not really if I am annoying anyone with the level world thing. Again, those guys' heads are really freaking weird when they, when they look up. Yeah, easy enough. This one's even easier. Well, I don't know, it's just because I have good weapons now. Like, the, these are going to be my main weapons throughout the game because the rest of them don't have too many too much ammo. Actually, there's, there's one. That's like a really good weapon that I'm basically going to be holding that the entire time. Level 4 is this one, I think. Okay. This is 5. I just placed the primary gate. Oh, well. Yeah, so this one's 4. Um, let me pause it, check the time, and then we'll check the cheat out. And maybe we'll start level 4 if I have enough time. So I will be back one second. Okay, cool. We have like 10 minutes left or something. Th that took a lot shorter than I thought. So, what did we unlock? Oh, did we unlock the warp? I don't think so. I could have sworn we unlocked the cheat, didn't it? Okay, whatever. I guess not. I was gonna... I was gonna... Uh, you know what? I haven't... We haven't did Fruity Stripes for one of these. We only did one of them, so let's do Fruity Stripes and watch this cutscene for level 4. The Lair of the Blind One. <laughs> Brings a whole new aspect to this, like, dark, depressing cave area. I, uh, again, I'm not gonna play it like this, but... Little is known of this mysterious place. Legends tell of ghostly figures emerging at night from underground, and dragging hapless victims Well, that guy's veins days. kinda match the theme. So do the spiders! The blind ones this is kinda fitting. Helpless. They can hear the beat of a heart. And smell the blood of an intruder. Although the water doesn't match it at all, but attacking with primitive brutality. Or the lava. <laughs> Which the lava <laughs> had that rainbow effect too. Whoa! Okay. Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see all of those guys. This should be really hard if that many of those. Seal three thermal vents, trapping the blind ones beneath tons of rock. Skittles. Locate the okay, energy totem hey, glitchy base. and defend it at all costs. Alright, so the layer of the non-rainbow colored madness. There we go. This is what it looks like. It, it's a lot more depressing. This way, I think. Uh, this, this is where this game starts getting like... Where the heck have I been? I have no idea. Um, hopefully, hopefully I remember this enough to not get lost. Too much, at least. I know I will at least once, but... Okay, that way is the way we will go when we have the Whispers uh, Talisman. That will let us get the Primogen Key. I'm moving forward on my own. That was a weird glitch. Like, I did something at the bottom of that cliff, and it messed things up. Let's waste a Shredder Bullet. I am impatient. Um, I usually don't waste my time blowing these up, and I probably shouldn't have. Ooh. All right, let's go. There's actually no enemies for a while, at least no new enemies for a little while. So don't have to worry about too much. The only thing over here, I think there's ammo somewhere, but so how this works is that there's these little cave areas and you fall down holes, and in each hole, like, there's a warp portal, and that's how you get back up, and then a door slides open. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like that, and then you can get back to the previous area. 
I think I'm basically wasting a whole bunch of stuff. It's fine. Oh, hey, I have a good place to end. This is where I... <laughs> it's where I did a video on... Eh. The flush portal! Yeah. I'm gonna end this at the flush portal. I didn't get the harpoon gun. Oops. Where is it? Yeah, so this gun, gun was basically... To me, it was completely useless on the N64 version, because it's so hard to aim this thing on that version. Because, you know, swimming... Swimming and a joystick. Kind of hard. Activated. I don't know if I was breathing, but that's okay. So I believe that this way is the first way to go. I have messed this up before and had to, like, do a convoluted path to get back up. So hopefully I'm... I'm going the right way to get to the flush portal. This isn't even the flush portal. What am I doing? Flush portal is later. Flush portal is almost at the end. Never mind then. And we can't get the eagle feather for for a while. You know what? I was wondering why I usually come back to this place. <laughs> like I have to do a big backtracking thing just to get the firewalker talisman. Uh, unless you walk on lava, by the way. But. Not all lava, as I will demonstrate. It's really stupid. Um, so we just had to activate that thing. Oh, so I went through that convoluted path that one time, only to find out that I didn't even need to yet. I think that's what happened. So, great. Alright, so I think pretty soon we're gonna be seeing... The blind ones, finally? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, he's following me up here. That jerk. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna need to get used to these spiders. They're all over the place. Most of the time, I'll try to run by them, but... They can... They can become extremely irritating. Mostly because they have a... A... Whatchamacallit? A MESH! That was good. Who needs a tranquilizer gun? We are going to be getting a better version of that soon. One that's like one of my favorite weapons. Okay, so these guys can easily do the switch damage to me if I let them, so I'm just going to grab that full health right now. Well, not you. Stop trying to act all... Oh, hello. Yes, I'm going to... Stop! What am I doing? Why am I trying to shoot the guy with this? What is going on? Maybe I should have saved that full health. I guess they don't do as much as I thought. Ow. I'm gonna make sure of something, actually. Nope, we're still on hard. Because I did mess with, um, wait, is that shadow setting in? I am, come on, is that shadow setting in the options here? No, it's not. It must be in video settings. I don't know. Because I did mess with the config file. Like, I manually changed something from false to true to turn the shadows on. Like, I made sure I turned all the, like, settings on, like all the full graphics, <laughs> but apparently I missed something. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't have to go here yet. This is actually the way you go when you're trying to get the Firewalker Talisman. So I did not need to go here yet, but we do need to go down here, so it's not a huge deal, I suppose. There's supposed to be an entrail here. That's odd. Does he appear after we hit this? After we hit this... The heck? Did I hit that switch? Am I losing my mind more than usual? Maybe. It's completely... Completely possible. Well then, apparently we've hit that switch and we're gonna head up here. Um... Um... Shredder, maybe? Do I have... Oh, no, not you! Oh, thank you for exploding. I will... Stuff. This is actually... <laughs> this is the way you go back up. You see, I am so confused. This level. Caves... <laughs> yeah. That was cool. Wow. Okay. So... I'm going to do this. I think this way loops around. There's one of those worm things coming up right here. Good. Okay. Explosive rounds, the way to go. Okay, I shouldn't have even gone that way. I knew that was a loop. 
Alright, so I think there's another new enemy coming up. I'm gonna keep this out actually. Mag 60. Giant spiders! Yep, you saw a spider friend. How about a giant version? One shot. Very nice. Those guys will spit acid at you. Grenade launcher. Uh, it's pretty easy to dodge if you're strafing it, but I don't think it does too much if it hits you either, so. They're just cool enemies. I like them. Come on! Come on! Go away! You should go away too, actually. Please. Please and thank you. Um, I'm gonna take care of these guys because... I don't know if they respawn, I hope they don't. Uh, there's health over here and I think I want to farm it. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but let's hit this switch and take care of the enemies that... Are there any enemies? Go away! Jeez. <laughs> like, there's health and stuff. Um, I'm gonna... Like, I do want to farm that stuff. Um, I'm gonna go down this path because there's something really fast I could do, and then I'm gonna end the video. So if you, like, I don't know how long it would take you to figure this out, but up here, there's a switch that you have to hit, and I don't... Um, yeah, cause I don't think you can get in that area. Maybe, I don't know. Either way, you have to just know to look there and hit that switch. It's kind of dumb. Uh, we're going to go down the other path and go in there later. Um, next episode, actually. So by the time next one's up, I will have full health, so don't freak out when I suddenly have 100 health and full ammo. So, yep, see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.